Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today I'd like to show you how drone mapping is performed, some technical aspects and also the misconceptions of accuracy concerning drones. Now in case you're wondering, the method used for mapping is called photogrammetry. It dates back to the early part of the century and is part of the remote sensing field associated with engineering and survey. It was and still is used on fixed wing airplanes. Over the last 10 years or so it has been making its way into the drone industry in either fixed wing or quadcopter. So how does it work? Here is an area I previously mapped in two dimension. I key in waypoints covering the area Select the X5S preset I created. Make sure the focal length is set to 12mm because I'm using a 12mm lens. I also set the flight speed and altitude depending on the situation and the side lap needs to be at least 70%. I make sure the front lap is at least 80% and as you can see a fully customised route is created. The estimated time, waypoints and photo amount required appears down the bottom of the screen. Three dimensional mapping is set up the same way but it includes at least another four missions for the 3D perspective. As the drone is flying the mission and taking the photos, the latitude, longitude, coordinates and altitude are recorded in the metadata of the still image. The stitching software finds identical contrast and shapes in each photo and this is why you need a high amount of overlap. Pretty simple right? In drone mapping there are two types of accuracy, standard and survey grade. Standard should only be used for visual purposes. You can get sub-meter accuracy at best and there are no secondary checks to validate the data's accuracy. Standard mapping is used for layout diagrams, visual progress maps and true colour comparisons with vegetation data. These are just examples of uses. I'm sure you can think of other ones. Most quadcopter drones are capable of standard mapping as they have a single channel satellite receiver. This setup is quite good for most situations and it's what my current drone equipment is capable of. Survey grade mapping is as the name suggests for survey and engineering purposes such as volume calculations, slope contours and high accuracy progress surveys to name a few. They are purpose built mapping drones with a dual channel satellite receiver. Also the onboard camera is calibrated and synchronized with the satellite receiver on the drone. In addition survey drones have base stations for static corrections used in either RTK or PPK format and if done correctly, centimetre accuracy can be achieved. Unfortunately, my current drone equipment is not capable of survey grade mapping. The equipment is highly specialised and also expensive, but I am definitely interested and who knows, in the future, I may need one. Anyway, that's about all I can think of with 2D and 3D drone mapping. If you have any questions, comment below. If you like the video, give me a like. Subscribe if you want to. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.